Well, how'd you like to get ten thousand dollars to move to another city, <laughs> and also also cut your living expenses by fifty percent or more? I mean, that's what's going on in our country now. Is that cities are uh, trying to attract people, you know, that, that can't make it in the big cities, <laughs> and they're offering you money. I mean, some are up to fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. Now that's an incentive. Now here here's what Tulsa does, and actually some of them looking for remote workers because that means they don't have to create a job. So if you're a remote worker, like, you know, they're saying you could in Vermont and places like that and live in nice countries and uh, whatever for a fraction of the price. And they give you money to work there because you're bringing a job to your own because you it doesn't matter where you are to work. Others, it doesn't matter if you if you're working home and or not, they help you find jobs. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> Hopefully, help me find my hiccups. <laughs> but this article is interesting. Uh, this lady from San Francisco moved to Tulsa and got $10,000 to do that. And they say the people who come and get that $10,000, they have a 90% uh you know, people stay, you know, some about 10%, you know, hey, this wasn't for me. And they go back after the year because uh, I guess you have to stay at, late, at least a year. So these are interesting. Now, how do you find more cities like this that you could move to? Well, somebody has an app for that. <laughs> it's called Make My Move. And here's you. Uh, here's in Tennessee, $10,000. Stillwater, uh, $7,000. Jasper, Wyoming, $5,000. Yep, $6,000. In Indiana, here's another Indiana, $5,000. Morgantown, West Virginia, $20,000. Man, you can live for a year on that. <laughs> Lewisburg, $20,000. Augusta, Georgia, $15,000. Uh, uh, Augusta, Maine, I'm sorry. See? Um, wow, look at that stuff. You know, and the cost of living in these cities are just a fraction of what um, uh, my son lives out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and next to a state park and his overhead man is just a fraction of what it'd be living in Washington, D.C. And he works remotely, so it doesn't matter where he is. Uh, but again, so if you look at look at all that, Baltimore is even $5,000. Yeah. Uh, La Villa, Texas, uh, Claremont, Minnesota. Here, you want to see more? There's more. See, this website keeps all these things. New Richmond, Minnesota, Kansas, uh, Marquette, <laughs> Honolulu. <laughs> wow, Buffalo. <laughs> There's snow, Minnesota. There's a picture of snow there. <laughs> San Juan gives you a buck. <laughs> Chattanooga gives you a buck, <laughs> a dollar. Why are they doing that? <laughs> I don't know. But here's another thing: if you're looking at moving or whatever, is that the place that look for jobs or or, or to learn about any incentives there are or things like this, maybe your career one stop in the city or the state you want to go. I mean, they may know about things like that. If not, uh, call the governor's office and ask. But it, if you go and search for careeronestop.org, so you just put in your zip code, and these are the people that help people get jobs. So maybe if you're thinking of that and they don't offer a job, well, you look at them and say, hey, is it you can talk to them about how hard it is to get a job in this city and, and what kind of help help or what kind of training do they offer? Maybe it's worth it going to another city and they're going to train you for six months and to be a cybersecurity expert <laughs> and stay in town. Now that's worth it. So you don't bring a job. You go there and get trained for a job. So if they give you $20,000 a move, you can live for a few months there, right? <laughs> and get the training they have. So find out how they're going to train you if you come and live and try to work there. And what kind of training programs do I have to work remotely or somewhere else and things like that? See, there's always more than one way to solve a problem. It, it, it's hard to see a bigger picture, you know, if you're fighting the war day by day somewhere and, and just trying to survive. So look at options like this and, and take a, you know, a half hour, an hour, two hours and just explore. And what would this look like? And, and even if it doesn't work for you this time, it, it gives you knowledge somehow. And it puts another uh, piece of the puzzle together <laughs> or gets rid of some that you shouldn't have anyway. <laughs>